Hello everyone, welcome to The Darkness, and I am Darkness Stone. And today we're talking about a streamer that I learned about on Twitter, We Found The Body. He's a Twitch streamer with 10k followers at the time of writing this script, and he streams a few games, and he describes himself as, I'm a musician slash drummer from Canada that loves to game and meet others online. I am 35 years old and I don't like bigots. I can drink beer endlessly. I love punk rock, true crime documentaries, and my jorts. My favorite games are RPGs, free roaming action adventure, and first person shooters. Lately, he has gone under heavy fire for something he'd done on stream, and as someone who streams, I know not to do stuff like he did. Let's go over it, shall we? To put it simply, a person who comes to his stream regularly, a person who goes by Miss Nerdy Curvy or at Miss Nerdy Curvy on Twitter, recently had their mother pass away. She came to the stream and we found the body asked where they had been, and I'll just play the clip. In Spanish, and it's Chef's Kiss. All right. Curvy, where the fuck have you been? Oh my god, we'll tell you what, Miss Dirty Curvy, you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna talk about it in my chat. Cause it's Friday, and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. And I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my fucking chat. Uh... She stated in the chat her mother passed away, and that's where she has been. He literally asked her where she was, and she responded honestly. Yes, it is a more serious topic, but you literally asked where she was. Quite rudely, may I add. Thank you. Well, okay, Miss Dirty Curvy, you said, no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Curvy. No, you asked, where the fuck were you? That isn't giving them a specific thing to work on. They were honest with you. When something really, really bad is going on in your life, and in a public forum, someone asks you, hey, what's up, how are you? There are two acceptable response, uh, responses. Good, and you know what? I'll make it through. That's it. How are you? Good, or you know what? I'll make it through. Awesome, love to hear it. Well, you didn't ask, how were you? You asked where they were. Kind of a different question you got there, bud. See, there you go. Or Prom's response. I, yeah, I said, Prom, how are you doing? She says, I'm alive. There you go. Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. D. Curvy. All I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. It's not, but you asked. And you also could have just ignored it if you wanted to as a streamer, or have just said, oh, I'm sorry for your loss, or I hope things get better. And if you think that answer sounds familiar, it's the same response you gave earlier about there being two responses to that kind of information. Your own logic can be held up against you, and I don't think you would like it. It's just, it's not the place to do it. That's all I'm trying to tell you. That's it. I'm just, I figured this is a good opportunity to inform you heavy news like that when someone asks hey where have you been you don't need to tell them well my dog died my husband left me for a younger woman my house burnt down and my car got stolen so i've been a little bit busy that's why i haven't been around because it's like oh god like oh oh like you know like honestly it just shows you don't have sympathy for them or the other option is that you might not be in the right headspace to handle that information, and that's completely fine. But you could have just stated that instead of going on this two-minute tirade. If if someone asks, like, hey, what's up? Where have you been? And it's heavy, just be like, I had a bunch of shit going on, so I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you a new ass. Well, you can't really blame us for thinking so with the way you responded. Now, he has another video, which is now unlisted, which I think is from all the backlash, but it's where he responds to everyone and everything that was going on. Let's take a look at that, shall we, as well? Twitter, good morning. I have something that I prepared, something that I've written down that I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, and it's right here on my screen, so if I'm, you know, glancing from the, the camera down to the screen from time to time, it's just because I'm following along with what I've written. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is John or disgusting piece of shit, as some of you prefer to call me on Twitter. Either is fine, it's, it's cool. Already starting with the self-deprecation. Not a great start, but we'll see where things go. 
Uh, on Twitch, my handle is we found the body. I've decided to make a video to address this whole situation regarding my reaction to someone's grief comments in my chat uh, that have gained traction on, on Twitter, which is, you know, why we're here is why we're doing this. Uh, there's a few things that I'd like to make clear about the matter at hand. First, I would like to say it was one grief comment, which they were answering the question you gave them, not just trauma dumping. Firstly, it is well known in my channel that I do not tolerate heavy news, drama, or trauma uh, dumping, if you will, being entered or dropped into the chat. This has been discussed and explained and made clear many times while I've been live over the last four plus years that I've been on Twitch. I also have a rather lengthy text command that appears frequently and explains this in my chat in words, uh, maybe for anyone that, that doesn't have volume on or maybe is hearing impaired. Um, regulars know this information well. The people that come to my channel often, they know this. They see it all the time. If they do, that's great, but it, it's not trauma dumping. They didn't go into a whole spiel about how their mother was in their life or anything like that. They just responded once to a question you asked of them. You could have just ignored their answer, or if it was against your rules, timed them out, but that's a whole different story. Um, so that's something that I want to make sure everyone understands. Uh, secondly, the clip that this individual has provided was edited and chopped up to cut out a lot of the context and dialogue required, I feel, to fairly assess the matter as it truly unfolded. If it was cut up to fit within Twitter's upload limit, which is what I assume, but even if it did leave out some sort of context, it doesn't mean what you did was any more right. If it would have been more helpful in this case, why don't you bring up the full clip? Because for the life of me, I cannot find the full unedited clip anywhere. Because cutting out of context is bad, cutting out unnecessary stuff so the video doesn't take an hour is not bad if it doesn't supply context. But you need to prove that. Please show us the full unedited clip because you are the one who most likely has it. Because I know I have backlogs of all my recent streams all the way back to July of 2022. I feel like you should be able to provide that context. Uh, you've seen the edit, but what it doesn't show is that twice, I didn't acknowledge her comments about the deceased family member on purpose. I read them to myself, but didn't react in depth in an attempt to simply avoid having the stream temporarily hijacked uh, by this type of heavy serious trauma commenting it wasn't until the third time that she brought it up in chat and expressed how horrible life has been that i reacted to it the way that i did one very important detail that i think i should share is that this individual has been spoken to about has been spoken to about this uh before this is not the first time that she's violated the expectation that people not share heavy news in my channel Care to provide any proof in any way. Like, please show us something that you're trying to prove here. You could just be saying this to cover your ass. I'm trying to give you all the points I can, but you need to give a little back. Previously, she shared uh, in my chat very personal, detailed, potentially triggering uh, comments regarding a toxic relationship that she was involved in. And this was approximately a year and some months ago. Uh, and at that time, I did in fact let her know that I don't appreciate or entertain that type of commenting in my channel. Her and I uh, met in Discord. We spoke privately and discussed her relationship situation as friendly acquaintances. And she expressed to me that she understood why I don't like that sort of thing being entered into my chat. We had an understanding. If that's the case, why don't you have any proof of this? You can show proof that these details happened without divulging personal information, so why not do so? If you're trying to clear your name, you need to put up evidence to support your claim, or else it's word against word. And with the way you are acting, it's hard to keep your word up against theirs. The frustration you witnessed in that edited clip that she provided is a result of this expectation not being understood as I believed it was. The frustration from having her argue in chat that she was, quote, just answering my question, even though she's been spoken to about this type of thing before, and she knows full well, you know, she was a streamer for a time, uh, that this type of thing is most certainly frowned upon. Just because they are a streamer doesn't mean anything. Sure, it means they may understand certain social things, but you're the one who asked them a question. And if you have a problem with them in the past, why even ask them where they have been if you thought they could have given such a response? Let alone you say something that they mentioned three times, but you don't show it the full clip yourself. Oh, yes. Thirdly. Oh, my third point. 
Yes, I'm still counting the points. Firstly, secondly, thirdly. Uh, and this is where a lot of you are going to fucking hate me more than you already do. It's not my job to take on people's grief or drama while I'm live. Big or small, seemingly harmless or not. I don't hate you for that. It's not your job to take people's grief. However, it's your job to try to have sympathy if you can muster it. And if you can't, you close your mouth. Time them out. Do something other than the way you reacted on stream. Because it just kind of shows you as kind of being a jackass. It's, it's just not my job. It is my job, however, unfortunately, to have to repeatedly explain to specific individuals that they violated the channel rules and chat expectations to not share heavy, energy-changing news or drama in the chat. Now, I understand that I was somewhat harsh and crass and insensitive to this woman. I'm, I'm sorry for that. I have apologized. I'm still sorry for it. Um, I'm sorry for hurting her feelings and for being, you know, cunty about it. But I'm not sorry for reminding her and others in the community to leave your baggage at the door when you enter someone's chat. Now, that's a way to say I don't really care what's going on in your life as a viewer of mine. Dude, if you just don't care, just state you don't care, don't dance around it. People are bound to talk about their feelings and stuff like that in your chats. Hell, it happened to me too, and I don't and I don't get more than 12 viewers of live stream. Link to the streaming channel in the description, by the way. Um, I have to silence people posting about their trauma in my chats before, saying how they want to kill themselves or begging for me to notice them, or telling me how depressed they are because someone close to them just died or they just don't want to be here anymore. Usually I go like, oh, I'm sorry to hear about that and I hope you feel better soon. But if they keep doing it, I just time them out or ban them if I have to. You need to try to have some fucking class and tact when you're dealing with someone like that. I should have just uh, skipped over her comments and moved on, but I didn't. And people make mistakes and that happens to be uh, one of the mistakes that I've made. I think it's important to mention uh, for those of you that don't know me at all, which is damn near all of you that I'm very upfront with people. I understand that my personality, my demeanor, my choice of words isn't for everyone. I am a very strong flavor that a lot of people don't like, and I'm okay with that. I don't pander. I don't pussyfoot around something that bothers me or needs to be said. I don't mind informing someone that their chat etiquette fucking sucks, no matter the situation, clearly. I haven't been streaming it for as long as you do, nor do I have as big of an audience, but even I know that. Well, we just kind of see here where you're coming from, right here. Because you say you're sorry, but you sure as hell don't act like it. You put all the blame on the one person you asked the question to for your outburst. Your words, your choice. You also say that your flavor is not what everyone likes. Dude, you're not a fucking foie gras or clams. You're just a content creator who doesn't like to take shit. Neither do I. That's fine. It, the issue is, is that the, you reacted the way you did, not the type of content you make. And for those of you on Twitter that uh, want to crucify me, you know, you want to chop me up and roast me, have at it. Type until your fingers are sore. As it is my right to decide what's okay in my chat and my channel, it is your right for you to decide how you'd like to roast me on Twitter. I haven't commented, replied, liked, shared, or retweeted any of it at this point, and I'll be keeping it that way. But I do read some of it, like some, like not much, but some of it, and I'll be taking your views into consideration, probably with popcorn in the Discord with a few homies, if I'm being completely honest. See, this is what I am talking about. You are not taking the situation seriously at all, and you're saying what you do read is entertainment for you, instead of criticism you could look at and try to learn from. Also, I'm not here to crucify you. I'm not a Christian. I'm here to give my opinion, and maybe give you some advice to help you in the future. I'm not here to rain holy hell fire upon you. Hell, I don't think most people are. It's your actions that people have issues with. I don't think many people hate you on a personal level. Hell, I'm sure many people agree with you, even though I may not be one of them. But the way you are saying these things about criticism show that you are not taking this seriously as you should be. Instead, seeing this as entertainment instead of a learning experience. That is the issue. I'd like to end this little rant by saying Twitch is an amazing place. I fucking love streaming and the incredible community that I'm a part of. 
I have met some of the most significant people in my life on Twitch. So I value and appreciate it. Like what it offers us all. It's not lost on me. It's, it's one of the most important things in my life. A lot of you don't really know who I am. Um, but now you know a little bit. I'm jagged. I'm flawed. I'm obnoxious. I make shitty jokes and I'm a fucking asshole. I don't try to hide that. I never have. But at least you know what you're getting from me. Okay, that's called consistency. Consistently a fucking asshole. Isn't that like uh, what they teach you in like YouTube streamer school? How to be a streamer 101. Consistency. Well, I've got that in spades. Uh, Twitter, it's been swell, but I gotta go. Uh, if any of you would like to check out the channel, that would be fucking tits. That would be fucking, not, not fucking, like, not fucking tits, but it would be like fucking tits. Yeah, that doesn't make it a good thing. Being an asshole consistently, still being an asshole. I'm skipping the rest of this, it's mostly just a shill for his channel. Now, what's my opinion on the situation? I honestly think we found the body handled the situation very poorly. He didn't take any criticism to heart, and he made a video that fell off from an apology, and he seems to be consistently an asshole, at least in his words. People like that are stubborn and hard to change, and I have no idea if he ever will, especially since this video is now unlisted at the time of writing the script. Do I think he has a chance to change for the better? Of course I do. I think he has a chance to. But it's up to him to take that chance if he wishes to do so. And that would come out first with either evidence of what he's been saying or an apology. I wouldn't apologize for calling him an asshole, he's one by his own admission. But I'm willing to admit if I am wrong, if I am wrong. So if he brings out evidence of the contrary of what has been said, I will apologize to him forthright. Now, let's move on to the fan art feature. First off, we have this really cool piece done by Ace of me sitting in a chair all gleefully. Not really gleefully, more like cocky, just like... <laughs> Very nicely done. I love the style, even though this is one of their older drawings. I still love it a lot. I love the like spectral hands that are coming around and how my scarf is still there in the deep darkness. It's very well done. Thank you, Ace. Up next is from Alabaster Litzo, a long-standing fan of the channel and also a very good artist who did some of my official artwork. They made a cat boy stone that sometimes I can wear cat ears when I stream if I do a face cam. It really depends on the stream and if it's for some sort of special occasion I'll put on my face cam and like put on cat ears. Right now the cat ears are on my bunger in the other side of my room. But this is a very nice piece of artwork of Catboy Stone. Thank you so much for about this Alabaster. You are always a pleasure to have. Up next is from Brad on Discord. And they got a cozy looking stone in a hoodie. It looks very nice and I enjoy it very much. It's very cozy, very soft, it's a nice sketch. And it's very well done. Thank you so much for this, Brad. Up next is a piece from Bushy slash Crier on Discord. It's an older picture, but still a picture nonetheless that they sent me. Again, this is put through a random number generator after I, after I get it. Um, but this is from, I believe, a redesign and OC of mine thing on Twitter. And they did this amazing piece of art with this cool-ass sword. And just look at this amazing piece of artwork. Amazingly done. Very well done. Thank you so much for this, Bushi. Up next is from Kata on Discord. This is from when I was streaming Cult of the Lamb. And I put, like, my viewers into a wheel to spin and see who would be the next cultist. And this is me as the lamb with a, f with a person who just flew up. Yeah, just they just need a handhold. I did they're like, Dad, I fool up. Please, please, please come for me, Dad. I fool up. <laughs> but thank you so much for this, Kata. This is adorable, and you did an amazing job. Up next is a dancing little boy, boy by Darling Corley on Discord. This fucking funny looking thing. I love this thing. It's just like, I just imagine it going like back and forth consistently or bouncing up and down. This is a very nice piece of art. Thank you so much for this, darling Corley. Up next is a little thing from Hachik Coffins or Coffins on Discord. And it's just a little icon of me. It's a very cute style. I love the blue and red shading on the hair. The nice little rosy cheeks, the beard with the smile. It's a very cute picture. I would use this as a profile picture if I didn't already have one. It's a very nice picture. Thank you so much for this, Coffins. Up um, next is from Kawaii Knight on Discord, and they drew me as a Hollow Knight. I really should do a commentary with a Hollow Knight theme eventually. Probably. 
but they drew me as this Hollow Knight character and I think it's very well done. The colors are nice, I like the background, I got horns, I got hair, it's really nice. Thank you so much for this, uh, Kawaii Knight. Up next is from Mothbites on Discord and they drew me with their, um, with one of their characters, a little owl fella, and it's very well done, just look at it. Just look at it, look at it, I got a glove on and stuff, just look at it, it's cute, it's well done. I love the anatomy on the owl, and I love the way the scarf looks, it's just really nice, I love the hair. You did an amazing job on this moth, hope to see you again soon. Up next is from Noodle Stealer on Discord, and these were from my Slime Rancher streams. Talk I was talking about some of my favorite slimes and stuff like that, and they drew my main one, which was a Honey Crystal uh, slime. Again, these things are the things that when I had a 3D printer, I printed them. Like, I got a honey slime in my hand right now. You can probably hear it. Um, I 3D printed them, but I love Slime Rancher. It's one of my favorite games. And they drew this art piece of me when I was playing it. And it's really cute and really nicely done. Thank you so much for this noodle sealer. Up next, we have a Welcome to the Darkness logo from Scarlet Rosalia on Discord. Scarlet Rosalia is a longtime fan who made a lot of art at one point that I have to, like, it was in the generator that I have to, like, stop multiple people from getting on the fan art feature multiple times at once. And Scarlet Rosalia is usually one of them because they have made so much art and it's just, like, amazing. But this is a nice Welcome to the Darkness banner. I really love it. It could be something like a banner for the Discord, but a, I can't afford to buy it from them. But it's really nice. Thank you so much for this and you did amazing. And lastly, we got a piece from my friend Tiny Ghosty on Discord. But they also go by fire. They made this amazing dark jigglypuff. Dark stone as a jigglypuff. What will he do though? Will he sing? Will he love? Will he claw? About to find out. But this is an amazing piece of artwork. Thank you so much for this, Ghosty. You did an amazing job and I love it. Many of you might not know this, but Jigglypuff is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Well guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, favorite, and or subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. Enjoy the dogs.